Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dima Snipes here with another another tutorial for you guys. This is a small modern house, and this is a house that looks great in creative and also in survival. It's also extremely easy to make in survival. Uh, so if you do want to make it in survival, you will need around maybe four blocks of or f four stacks of regular stone. You can also use other materials if you want. And then with the timeline update, we got some new woods, and we're going to be using the birch woods for this one. As you can see, this is what it looks like with the, what's it called? I forgot what the darker wood's called, but uh, I believe it's called birch. Right, this, is, this is birch, hold on. So if you do want to use the spruce wood, that's what it looks like. And this is what the house is going to look like when it's done. We will be doing the interior. Uh, this house does not have any interior, just so you can see what it looks like and how spacious it is. So let's get started making this. So let's go over the materials that you will need. You will need birch wood slabs, Birchwood blocks or planks, regular stone, glass panes, regular regular glass, stone slabs, doors, gravel, and then oak leaves. And then the interior will be using uh, the, some other stuff, but let's just do the out the exterior first. Let's get started. So we're gonna start on the left side of the house. And so what we're gonna do? We wanna lay down four things of stone. So one, two, three, four. Stack it up four as well. So it's like a big square like that. Now take out your spruce wood planks, and then, not spruce wood, birch wood, and then make a doorway that's gonna be too wide, so you can put two doors in here. Now take your stone back out, then come diagonal from the door and place it to where it comes back, just like that. What you do is you wanna take your stone and come over the door and connect it to this block. Then also do this one more time, but so it's extending out one farther from the door. So we kinda have like a little overhang. Now take out your birch wood, I keep forgetting which wood it's called, and then from this diagonal piece, you want to come out three from the doorway, so one, two, three. And you can see we have this one piece of stone in between, and then if you did this right, the uh, birch wood should be one uh, farther than this far wall over here. Now you want to stack this up four tall as well. Alright, so here's where we use the regular glass. This is going to be the only window in the house with these kind of windows. So you want to lay down three things of regular glass, stack it up three, and now take out your birch wood, and just go over the top. Now make another wall, two wide over here. So we should have the same size walls on each side. Now come to the top, and then fill in this top part right here with the wood. I'm just going to call it the wood, because I don't want to keep checking the name of it. I'll get it eventually. Alright, so that's basically how wide the house is going to be, but we're not there yet. So to the right, you want to lay down two blocks, diagonal, and then come diagonal one more. And so you should have like a nice little corner piece like just like this. Stack it up. Now you want to do take out your wood, come diagonal from this block, and then you want to lay down four. So one, two, three, four. Stack it up, four. All the windows are going to be extruded out farther from the house. Now what we're going to do is lay down one uh, block and then stack it up four from diag from that diagonal window. Okay, now we want to come back over to the left side of the house, and this window over here is going to be the, in the same spot as that window over there. So one, two, three, four. Stack it up just like you did with the windows over there. Lay down another diagonal piece. All right, now we're going to make another window. The win this window is going to be even with the door. So one, two, three, four. Again, stack it up four tall. And now you want to take out your stone and then just make a big wall going all the way to the other side of the house. And boom, basically the first floor is all done. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to take out our birch, birch wood slabs. And then you see where the door is? On top of the doorway, you want to lay down the stone going, or the planks going all the way across the house. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take out your regular wooden planks and then lay down from the right side. Uh, where this main window is right here. I'm going to lay down five pieces on top of the slabs. So one, two, three, four, five. You will notice a gap in between the slab and the block. That's what we want. Now come one block away and then lay down four. So one, two, three, four. You should have this one left uh, on the left side. You should have this one leftover slab and that's correct. Now you want to stack up these five tall. You should notice that these windows are going to be one block taller than the ones down below. So you will have more headspace up on the second floor than on the first floor by one block. So then you went with the right side window, it's going to be 
uh, just two small windows. Uh, I'm not sure if I explained that or not. Now, where the stone is over here, just stack up the stone all the way uh, to the top of the windows up top. Oop, misplaced that. And what we're going to do is we want one gap in between each window. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a rectangle that's going behind each window. Oop, missed, I missed, uh, did that. So let's do this all the way around the house. You should not have any stone on top of any window. And then where the slabs are, you still just take the stone and it should show up behind. And then where this middle piece is, take this up with the stone as well. So, so far this is what the house is looking like. So on the left side, just stack up all the stone. And where all the windows are going to go is just right above the windows below. So we're going to make all these windows right over here. Make another window right above this one down here. Stack it up. Oh, that was right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Misplaced it. Make one more window over here. And then stack it up. Alright, we do have one more window to add. So we wanna from we're on the right side of the house if you're facing the front of it. If you come to the back, we want to stack up this one diagonal piece. We're gonna add one more window down here. So it's gonna be just like this window over here, but one block to the left. So two, three, four, five. So if you do if you do notice. Uh, it's not exactly lined up with the window in front. It's just one block to the left. And now all the gaps in between each window, fill them in with the stone. Boom, now our base of the house is done. Now in every window, fill in every window with glass panes. As so. This shouldn't take too long. There's not too many windows. This is actually one of my favorite houses to make. I'm making a lot of these houses in my city for the suburbs area. And this house, once you figure out how to make it, so after you make maybe like two or three of them, you get the hang of it, and then you don't even have to go over and look at the tutorial or go look at the other houses. It's just an easy house to remember how to make, which is always nice, so everything goes by faster. Okay, all the windows are done. So that's what we want. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to take out our stone slabs, and then in the front of the house, you see where these two windows are on each side? What we're going to do is on the top block of those we're just going to place the slabs going all the way around the house connecting each window to window just like this now stop when you get to this window we're not going to put the stone slabs going all the way around the house it's just the front of the house to where those two windows are all right you, st you still want to keep your stone slabs out and now we're going to make the roof and the roof just follow in the entire thing to where the slabs go on top of each uh wood block as so. The front will be extruded out a little bit farther, but we're just going to make the main roof first. So now just fill everything in, just like this. And then I think I missed, yep, I need to place a row of stone over there. Almost done with the roof. Like I said, this is an extremely easy house to make, also very easy to make in survival. All you need is wood. Okay, and let's place this stone right here. Oh, that's not stone, that's glass. And boom, there we go. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take out our gravel, and then make a pathway leading to the doorway. And once you get to the doorway, stop, and then start placing the gravel. Now take out your oak leaves, and then on the sides of the pathway, just make it connect to the road, or to the pathway that you have. Okay, now we're gonna get rid of everything in our inventory, and we're gonna start working on uh, the interior. So for the interior, we're gonna use, since we're using light wood, we're gonna use dark wood for the floors. So we're gonna use spruce wood for the floors. Uh, we're gonna use some item frames. We're gonna use uh, regular oak wood stairs. We will need a couple signs. Uh, what kind of stairs should we use for Let's use, uh, let's use birch wood stairs for the stairs leading to upstairs. All right, now we want to get rid of all the grass in here and replace it all with the birch wood or oak, whatever it's called, the dark wood. I, I cannot, ugh, it's gonna bug me not remembering what kind of wood it is. I'll probably get it eventually, but it just hasn't been around long enough for me to memorize it. And then we want to make sure we get under the window 
with the wood. So get rid of the uh, grass underneath the window. Now take out your wood. Start filling in the floor where the grass used to be. And then, so you're gonna take your spruce wood out. I finally got it right that time, I believe. And then we're almost done. Boom, boom. Okay, place it under, under the doorway. Do this. And we're almost done with the floor. And we're gonna take some torches out so we can kind of see and light the house. So then you're gonna put some torches down on the windows. Just like this. Boom. Now we can really see in the house, which is what we want. Okay, so where the second floor is gonna be, the second floor is gonna be even with the stone up here. So take your spruce wood back out, and then use this spruce wood for the floor upstairs as well. And then just fill in the entire top floor. We can worry about where we're gonna put the stairs later. All right, and then we're, oh, misplacing some blocks. Now we're gonna come downstairs, fill that in. Okay, so the stairs are gonna go on this back wall, this big main wall back here. So take out your uh, birch wood stairs, and then one block away from the corner, start stacking it up, going all the way to the upstairs up here. Boom, now we have our upstairs. Now we wanna lay down some regular wooden stairs. Uh, just put these around, maybe like right over here, you know, make that just like one chair. The same thing right there. Now put the signs on each side to make it look like the armrests of the chairs. Boom, just like that. Uh, put an item frame somewhere. I'm just gonna put a regular stair in there. I'm not sure if you guys know this about item frames, but if you press left trigger, it spins the item. So I'm not sure if too many people knew about that. You wanna make a back door back here so you can always get out to your back door if you have a backyard. Uh, we wanna make our kitchen over here. For the kitchen, we wanna use, of course, a furnace, crafting bench, uh, a cauldron. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, and we want to use pistons for the countertop. So we're gonna lay down two furnaces uh, right next, to, like right under the window. And lay down two cauldrons on the other window. Now place the pistons in between on each side, just like that. And then what you could do is replace one of the pistons with a workbench, or maybe even two of them, just like that. And then for the floor for the kitchen. Let's use snow and black wool. So we gotta find the black wool. So then from workbench to workbench, let's make a carpet. And then what we're gonna do is just diagonal pieces like this. And now the gaps in between fill them in with black wool. Nope, that's not right, that's right. There we go, now we have our, have our kitchen floor. We might wanna put our doors in, so animals like that don't get in. Get out of my house. There, there we go, now you can't get in. Play some doors for the back door as well. Okay, let's come upstairs, and I'm not sure how a chicken got in here. And then we want to take out our beds. Do do. where are the beds at? They moved everything around since the update, so I'm not sure where everything is. And then we wanted to use pistons for our bed. So we have pistons, and we also want to use sandstone stairs. And then we want to also use, uh, what are they called? Fence posts. I'm having a hard time remembering what everything is. So lay down your two beds somewhere, even with the windows. On each side, on the corners, place a piston. Just like that. Now take your stairs out and lay them down just like this on the sides. When you get to the headboard, what you wanna do is place the stairs like that. And you can move this bed back one farther if you want. And what you wanna do is set up pistons to where one fence post, or two fence posts I should say, will connect the, the corners like this. 
I'm just keep placing these so I can get them up here. We want the pistons facing down. One more to go. And now in between on the pistons, put a fence post. Just like this. Boom, now we have our bed. Then you can connect uh, the tops of the bed with the stairs as well. So then do this. Make the stairs facing this way up on the top one. Boom. Now we have the bed set up. Uh, let's place some more the stairs like right here for decoration. Uh, I'm not really sure what else you could put up here. I mean, you could, you could put a couple more furnaces if you want to cook up here. Oh, I know what we could do. Let's put a brewing stand and a couple chests. So put the chest underneath the window. Then take some maybe uh, oak wood, regular wood, lay them down, and put the brewing stand on top of it. So boom, now you have your small modern house, guys. I'm, well, I'm really wouldn't say it's modern, but small house. Oh yeah, we forgot to do the roof. Uh, so in the front of the house, you see how uh, the slides are even with the windows? O only on the front, we want to make it to where it extrudes out one farther. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, so there's your house, guys. So you can replace either the stone with whatever, whatever you want to use and also the wood with whatever, whatever you want to use. So this is what the dark house looks like with the darker wood. And then this is what the lighter house looks like. So it all depends on your opinion on which one you like best. So thanks for watching, guys. Please rate and subscribe.